Hi, today I'm going to uh, show you how to reinstall the Windows system on one of these cheap £50 smartbooks. You've probably seen these on eBay, uh, but you may obviously already have one, which is why you're watching this, or you may consider buying one in the future. The newer ones actually have a faster processor than the one that's inside this model. Um, and some of them even run Android. I've actually tried running Android on this one. Quite successful, but of course it is designed for a touchscreen device, typically, so um, perhaps not ideal. Um, anyhow, these run Windows CE version 6. Uh, the very old one's got CE5. Um, and these things are quite handy, obviously, for um, browsing basic websites typically these will be the mobile versions um, and checking up on emails doing small documents uh, playing video music etc um, they're extremely light next to nothing and the battery life is typically around sort of an hour and a half to two hours uh, so if you're going away somewhere um, this is an ideal thing to shove in your bag or your briefcase uh, rather than lugging a giant laptop. The screen on it is 7 inches so it's certainly quite usable and the keypad is uh, very good. I mean it's, uh, it feels quite clicky but it's a proper keypad um, with all the usual options available. And just quickly I'll take you around. There's the two USB sockets there. As I say you can use those with the mice keypads, uh, memory devices and so on. The other side you've got the SD card slot, headphone socket and microphone socket and on the back there's another USB port and the Ethernet port. You can use that for hooking up directly to your router um, although these actually have built-in Wi-Fi. Um, in my experience it works very well. So why the video? Well the, uh, the problem that some people have uh, experienced with this is that the battery, if not charged for some period of time, you know, sort of six weeks onwards, um, fails to start the laptop properly even when it's fully charged. Um, I don't think it's directly related to the, the internal battery, probably more likely the fact that it doesn't have a sort of BIOS battery, um, and so it will hang on the loading screen and Windows won't actually load. So, we're going to reinstall it. The first thing you need to do is obviously download the Windows CE file which is designed for these smartbooks. Uh, there's a link in the, the video description somewhere. Um, you'll need a SD card, um, t at least 2 gigabyte, and you want to format this to FAT32, not NTFS, um, and make sure that once you've done that, I would advise a full format rather than a quick format. Make sure there's nothing added to the card. Next you want to unzip the uh, file that you've downloaded and inside there will be a script folder. And what you want to do is copy that script folder directly to the root of the SD card. In other words, when you explore the or view the, the card in Windows, all you see is a script folder, nothing else. Don't put it within another folder. OK, so that's the, uh, the restoration side of things taken care of. An important thing to remember is that, not just with this, but with any device, if you're flashing it or changing the BIOS or anything like that, make sure you plug it in. Don't use the battery. The battery might die on you and you could end up bricking your uh, device. So, always use the adapter. So I'm going to plug this one in now and we'll get going. Sorry about that, <laughs> just not the tripod. Okay, got the uh, power indicator there. I think this one's actually charged, but uh, as I say, better safe than sorry. So we put the uh, SD card in the slot, goes in upside down with the contacts facing upwards. We'll hear that click into place. And uh, I must point out, obviously this is a pink one, this is my partner's. Uh, she don't really use this anymore, um, moved up to a proper laptop, but uh, 
still a handy thing to uh, have around. Um, because there's a pink one and she insists on having everything pink, I've customised the, uh, the wallpaper slightly. <laughs> um, typically they say wireless smart book on the logo, but this one won't. It'll be pink. Okay, so all we need to do now is switch on. There we are. <laughs> and you'll see it will start to update. This here shows us the build number and the processor 8505. The new ones actually have the 8650 processor and they run about 800 megahertz whereas this is only 300 so certainly a much more usable device um, and in that case probably having Android on it is a better option um, certainly as far as browsing the internet is concerned and of course you can download apps I did try Android on this one and uh, it worked fairly well um, and I was even able to get rid of the virtual keypad since we don't need it uh, right, OK, this is the auto format. Don't need to click on OK, it will start on its own. If not, just click on OK. And now it's copying over the files onto the built in memory. These things, uh, this one has 128 megabytes of RAM and a 2 gigabyte uh, flash memory hard drive. Not a real hard drive. Um, that's probably all you need to be honest because you're not going to be adding much to it only files etc um, and of course you can upgrade this with the SD card or with a USB flash memory stick these are very uh, sort of cute devices really I mean it's amazing that they can uh, produce essentially a miniature laptop um, which looks very familiar to anyone that's used Windows um, for about the sort of £50 mark uh, obviously if you're importing from China you may get hit with customs while asking them to send it as a gift <laughs> I didn't say that um, but uh, in my experience I've never had any major problems not really the sort of thing to buy for your children, although it might seem a good idea. It um, could be handy if all they want to do is write letters, and, but uh, typically kids want to look at f uh, YouTube and all that kind of stuff, or play games at least, and uh, this thing will basically play solitaire. Okay, that's that part of the stage is finished. We now need to remove the card and then restart the system. So. We'll just do that. This is the uh, sort of safe mode at the moment. Okay, we'll just wait for this to restart. Whoops. Hopefully, this time we'll be greeted with the uh, familiar desktop, uh, which does look essentially like uh, your regular Windows. And there we go. Okay, so if you've not seen the uh, desktop on one of these things, here it is. Um, the options on this side look very familiar to maybe your desktop. You've got uh, Internet Explorer, Media Player, Messenger, etc. And to be honest, they are. It's just a very scaled down versions. Um, like I say, when you view websites, they're typically the mobile versions of the websites. Um, your email is handled by an app called NPOP on the uh, desktop here. You've got Skype, which is a chat only. Uh, option because we have no webcam. Uh, there's the Wi-Fi power option there. We need to switch it on and set up our uh, internet. Um, and once you've done that you'll find that this uh, little section here actually displays the weather for your area. Uh, you basically select your country and your 
a sort of the nearest large town and of course you've got your calendar uh, the clock there which loads up in different styles each time battery indicator there and this will show the Wi-Fi signal once it's uh, all set up um, and that's it really uh, obviously you'll discover all these things yourself uh, these are the office options I mean pretty much handles everything you'd need really uh, you've got sort of WordPad um, you can do spreadsheets, view PDFs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you've got YouTube listed on here. Obviously, this doesn't have Flash. YouTube, in my experience, doesn't really work very well. You uh, basically have to save the video to the device to view it. Um, as I say, games really equates to um, solitaire. <laughs> Um, and that's really the only downfall with uh, Windows CE on, CE on these devices is that you can't very easily add anything else to it when you're pretty much stuck with what you've got. You can but it's um, not recommended for uh, those that are not familiar with messing around with these things in general. Um, calculator obviously quite useful and the media players for your uh, sort of mp3 files or video clips um, you'll find it works best at 320 by 240 if you're putting videos on here you might need to convert them um, but that's it hopefully that will help you out if you've got one of these that's sitting in a cupboard decided to switch it on and find it doesn't work this may help okay bye for now